Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter video. In this video, I will show you how to implement search query into your application using Firebase as backend. As you can see, we have got some dummy data here, which includes email, profile picture, and name of the user. And in our application, we will show all of the user in a list view. And if we search for a specific user by their name, it will show only that user. That is how the searching works. I will share the source code for this in the description, you don't have to worry about that, but I recommend you to watch the video till the end so all of your doubts get cleared. But still, if you have any problem or you have a video recommendation, comment down, I will try to reply as soon as possible. So let's get started with the project. Alright, I suppose you have already configured Firebase with your Flutter project and I won't show that part in this video because that is a simple task, you can do that by yourself. And here we have got some dummy JSON data which I will insert into the Firebase as soon as I run the app. And let me write a function for that and call it into our init state very quick. Okay, in the app bar I'm creating a text field with a little search icon. And on change of this text field, I will assign its value into our variable which I have declared up there. And every time we type something in the text field, the new value will be assigned into our name variable which then we can use it later on to check if this value exists into our database and retrieve the user data. I will show that in just a few minutes. Then in the body, I create a stream builder which streams into our collection and uh, in the builder of this I will first check if the connection is waiting then show a circular progress indicator otherwise we will create a list view builder which takes the values or data which comes from our firebase item of count will be the length of data that we have and down here I will create a data variable which takes all the data from document and store it into our variable and we have to take it as map of string dynamic so that we can access its value using the map and here I will check if the name is empty then we have to return all the data available in the firebase Otherwise, if data of name dot to string dot starts with, this is important, you can also use contains, but I will use starts with. Then we return the same structure, which is list style, contains title, subtitle, and leading. Otherwise, we return a simple empty container. Let's check our application, how it looks, and test. So, all the data is inserted into the Firebase, if we check that. It's all available in here. Now to go and search into our application by a specific user name. Suppose we want to search Mark. By typing M, it will show all the users which starts with M. So this is how the application works. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will see you in the next video.